for us this is just really, really hard because he's such a beloved firefighter of our firehouse. And for this tragedy that happened yesterday, it's just, it's just devastating to all of us. A father, a husband, a hero, gone too soon. A Philadelphia firefighter is being remembered tonight after a triathlon turns tragic down the shore. Good evening, I'm Jessica Cartaglia. And I'm Alexander A. Hoff. And for Yuki Washington, the off-duty firefighter was taking part in the swimming portion of the event when he suffered a medical emergency. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lanz is live from his firehouse in Frankfurt. And Shante, there are some heavy hearts there tonight. Yeah, Alex and Jessica, absolutely heavy hearts. In fact, it was a cardiac arrest that officials say happened when he was swimming during that triathl triathlon. And today his colleagues say they will miss him dearly. Uh, yeah, we, we did the triathlon yesterday with a whole group here from the station. Uh, Dennis has done it four years prior to this, uh, and this was the first time he did the Olympic one. What was supposed to be a group activity for the latter 15 fire crew turned tragic on the Jersey Shore Sunday after one of their own suddenly died after going into cardiac arrest. The locker of Philadelphia firefighter Dennis Denny McDaniels at Ladder 15 in Frankfurt is now empty after he died while off duty while competing during a triathlon in Cape May, New Jersey. According to the Delaware River and Bay Authority, yesterday morning, McDaniels was almost finished with the swimming portion of the Escape the Cape Triathlon when he was found unresponsive from an apparent cardiac arrest. Medics performed CPR, but they were unsuccessful. McDaniels' lieutenant, Michael Foley, was there. We're not sure exactly what happened, but so we're all, we were all there. And uh, we had, you know, but for us, it was really what we're going to remember is the day before had a great time. This is one of the last images of Denny McDaniels. It was of him flipping off a boat in Cape May one day before the race and hanging out with his fellow firefighters on the beach. A 12 year veteran, McDaniels won a heroism award a few years ago. Lieutenant Foley says after rescuing two women from a burning home near Frankfurt Avenue in Sellers. Although the news is unbearable for McDaniel's wife, four young sons, and colleagues, his lieutenant is proud to always savor this. Nothing bothered him. And that's what that kind of part to be around someone like that. Because every day he's just joyful, you know, a, a person. And it just it's a pleasure to be around him, and I'm going to miss him greatly. And McDaniel spent six years at this firehouse. His colleagues are currently working to set up a scholarship fund for his four sons. Reporting live in Frankfurt in Philadelphia, Shante Land, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Shante, thank you.